This is our second part of the last video, which was intro to PVNRT. Okay, this will be our part two with a problem that is a little bit more difficult because all of the units that have been given to us for our, our some of the units, I'm sorry, not all, <clears throat> but some of the units we've been given are not the units that will work <clears throat> with PVNRT. So as you're going to see, we're going to have to do some conversions along the way. Now let's go ahead and take these one at a time. We'll do our given. First of all, we're given a volume of 3.44 liters. With a volume of 3.4 liters, 3.44 liters, we're fine. We can use that in our calculation because that's on the accepted list. However, when we get to moles, uh, we're noticing that we got 6.05 grams of the methane, and what I've done is I've converted methane from grams into moles, and that allows us to use that number, the, the 0.378, my answer that you see right here, that answer will be used in the calculation. So let's go on down to temperature. Well, temperature was in degrees centigrade. See, that was, that's what was given. So we had to add the 273 to get our number of 287 Kelvin. And that can be used in our calculation. So now we are ready to run this thing. And you'll see that P right here P is our pressure, that's our unknown. The 3.44 liters was from our given up here, that's the volume. The 0 0.387, that comes from right here, which was our calculated moles. And then the 0 0.0821, that was taken from the constant, which is always the same, 0 0.0821. And our temperature here in kelvins comes from this calculation that we did over here, adding the 273 to the 14 degrees centigrade to convert it into kelvin. And now we are ready to do our calculation. So after we finished off, I wrote in 3.44 liters, dividing both sides by the 3.44 liters, so we could isolate our P, which is going to be our pressure, and that will come out in um, atmospheres. So let's go ahead and run these numbers. We have 0.37, oops, 0.378, calculators work better when they're turned on, <laughs> and we're going to multiply that by 0 0.0821, <clears throat> and because this guy's on the top of the fraction, we multiply again by 2 eight seven and now we can just do our divide by hitting the divide sign three point four four and when we hit our numbers here you'll notice that we get two hundred or two point five eight nine and more numbers so we're going to round this to three sig figs and that would give us two point five nine and that is the number that was given as the answer to our problem. So now you see you got to watch your units of measure. Make sure you always use the units that are, are dictated by this little guy right here. And that is our constant. It was calculated as a constant based on the fact that we were using liters, atmospheres, moles, and Kelvin. And that would be the unit of measure that normally goes with this, but we aren't going to have to write all that. We're, we're not going to worry about that problem. So, thank you very much for watching. I hope this helped.